great adventure, for instance, of course he brought you to Liverpool, but a great adventure in Turkey, which oh, yeah. Galatasaray. And I, I visited you, a pair of you out there, and it, it was crazy. Well, Graham's, a, I learned everything I know really about off Graham. I was with him with three different clubs. He signed me at Liverpool, signed me at, sold me to Villa, signed me at Galatasaray, signed me at Benfica, took me to Blackburn as coach, took me to Newcastle with him as coach. So I've learned a lot of him. He's a great man and um, brilliant manager. And I had a clause in my contract which at Villa, which I could leave to go to a foreign club if they offered 1.5 million. Graham puts a bid in, phones me up and says, well, just come and have a look, Galatasaray. And uh, at the time, I think I was 31, I said, all right, I'll come over and have a look. Anyway, we got on the airport. My wife was eight months pregnant. We, we get to the Istanbul airport, walk through passport control. Um, someone just takes my bags. There's 10,000 Galatasaray fans in the in the airport, picked me up, carried me through the airport, put me in a black Mercedes outside. There was 25 fans, picked the car up, carried the car, the Mercedes down the road. I was in the car, it was like wacky races. <laughs> my wife went missing, Graham had gone, my agent had gone missing. And anyway, I got taken to this hotel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> at any point were you asked for I, was, I didn't know what was going on. And uh, we get to the hotel, it was Adnan Polat was the president. It was the Polat Renaissance Hotel, so it was his hotel. We went in and uh, we discussed a few things about football. And Graham says, we've got a training session at the ground tonight, so come down. Come down, we'll have a look. So the Ali Sami Yan, Ali Sami Yan Stadium, the bus goes underground. So you you don't... Well, when you get off the bus, you're right under the ground and you go in the dressing rooms underground and then you come up and it's not until you get hit the last step that you can hear the noise. Well, the training session, when I got into the dressing room, I was just introduced to all the players. I put my kit on. Mm -hmm. Go on, join in, I thought, mate, while I'm in. I was still Aston Miller player, but I, somehow they taught me into putting the kit on. <laughs> so I walked up the steps and I could hear the noise. There was 47,000 people watching training. And this, the president gave me a Galatasaray flag and pushed me out <laughs> onto the pitch. <laughs> so I had to run around the fort. And what, the, what they do in Turkey, the, the, the crowd singing in that side, and then the crowd singing in that side, you have to run across. And then they sing your name behind the goal, you run to them and run back. And when I got back, the president was there, he's like Imran Khan with a big coat on. Yeah. And he said, uh, just leave these a big cigar. And as I passed the flag on to the next player, he said, Dean, if you don't sign, there could be a major problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so my wife my, my wife went home and I I ended up, they taught I signed. And um, I have to say it was a great experience. My son was born out there. Um you drank Strange. oats blood. Oh, first game. You know, there's a place called Malatia where you get all your dried apricots for breakfast. <laughs> I didn't tell you. Anyway, we landed in Malatia. The, the airport was lined by soldiers and it was like, you know, when Gorbachev puts the f flowers on George Bush, the president gets off and it was one of them. We get on this bus. The bus goes through the worst town I've ever seen in my life. It was dust. <laughs> <laughs> no one's got shoes on. There's... Red and yellow ticker tape like a carnival everywhere. <laughs> and the bus goes down and all of a sudden it stops. Multi uh, double decker bus and it stops in the dual carriageway, dead. And there's a man walking a goat. And it's one of them ginger long haired goats. It's not like a normal white goat. <laughs> Is this and he's got it on a leash. Oh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> I'm sat with Brad Friedel and Barry Venison sat behind me and we're at the front of this double decker bus and we go, what's, what's, look at him walking that like a dog. He's walking that goat like a dog. Anyway, he walks into the middle of the road with a goat, and we go, I said, what's he doing? Puts the goat between his legs, pulls a knife out of his pocket about that long, pulls the goat's head back, slits its throat. We, we've just flabbergasted. There's blood, blood <laughs> everywhere. Blood everywhere. Blood everywhere. Blood everywhere. Blood squirted everywhere. That's a yellow card. And uh, <laughs> I, I've gone, I just couldn't believe it. So anyway, the, we, we're talking about it, and then the, we have a game. The first game I played for him, we, we line up for the national anthem, another goat comes on the pitch. <laughs> Fella pulls the knife out, slits its throat, pulls a cup out of his pocket, puts the cup in the goat's neck, gives it to the captain, Bulland, to pass down the line, so we all have a sip. Okay. I turned to Brad, I said, I'm not, I'm going home tomorrow. <laughs> Where are we? And Brad said, I'm not, I'm going home as well. And uh, they pass it down, the captain tapped me on the shoulder, he said, you better drink that, it's bad luck. If you don't drink it, it's bad luck forever for the club. So I pretended it was warm as well. 
I pretended to have a sip, passed it down. We were brought off to warm up. I ran towards Brad. I said, kick the ball at him. I said, I'm going home tomorrow. It's ridiculous. Anyway, minute into the game, right back puts me down the right wing. They dragged the goat off the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> and the right wing, right back puts me down the right wing. And the centre half tripped me up. And I tripped over and landed in the biggest pool of blood. <laughs> I landed on the goat and slid right through. It was all in my neck, up my back. I was covered in goat's blood. That's just, I apologise so, to all vegetarians. Yeah, but, so, uh, <laughs> apart from that, it was brilliant. <laughs> it was brilliant. But, um, and what did you name your son? Billy? Callum. Actually, <laughs> actually is Callum in Turkish is pencil. So there was a picture of a pencil on the back page with his head on it. That was a, <laughs> when he was born. Do you remember all those clubs I mentioned at the start that we were going to talk about? Yeah, we've got time. We've done dead goats and blood. Uh, we're going to give you the, I'm not sure of whether... I don't know whether they like goats in Blackpool, but we 